Okay, this is a completely different subject, more or less. It's not completely different, it's different. Uh, but I would appreciate some feedback in the comments section. Uh, my last video was actually 40 minutes long. And a lot of people make little three and five minute videos, and I tend to go on, and that's natural for me, but I can start breaking it up somewhat more if I need to. I'm not going to break it in little pieces, but if you guys find this is better than me making one long video, let me know. Um, if you're receiving the flow and the energy through this heart, there is a benefit to the longer video because it gives you a chance to sync up with this vibration and this frequency more and so you know I can go either way with it let me know all right now here's what I want to share I think the chances are spot on that when I was a little one I was one of the, the ones abducted by the grays and I don't know this for a fact. I don't have direct recall of it, but I know myself pretty well. This body will be 59 in a little bit here this month. And so, not to mention however many incarnations we've got going here. I know myself. I've lately, for whatever reason, started watching some of these abduction videos the ones that are very serious not you know every Joe and Harry but some stuff that's got good documentation to go with it and uh, serious researchers it's been very difficult for me um, very difficult and I've watched that. I've watched myself and I've wondered what the heck, you know. There was one where they showed, uh, they did a good job of dramatizing. Um, it is most often the grays that will come and get you, the little beings. And uh, it's, it's not like they give you any kind of an option. You're forced. It's an abduction. It's, you know, it's, it's not a willing thing. And when I looked at this being that had a mighty good costume or suit on, or I don't know how they did it, but it, it was very realistic, I wanted to kill it. I wanted to harm it. Uh, there, there was a rage and an anger inside that was way out of my experience. Totally. I mean, you know, even before I was on, on the path, I, I was a pretty calm being. And hatred is not a part of my life. And so that is completely out there for me to have feelings like that. All right. Now, that's just a little bit of a prelude because you can, you, you tap into my energy when you listen here. And so... I might as well tell you what's going on so that you can sort through what you're feeling there. Now, um, I listened to Bashar for a good long while. I had several people uh, that were sending me messages asking, what do I think of this one? What do I think of that one? And Bashar came up a number of times. And so I did go through a period, I guess it was probably uh, last month or so, where I listened to probably a couple of hundred hours. I just got on a Bashar roll. And I was kind of getting into it. It, it you know, there, there was some, some good stuff there until the day that uh, I got one where he was explaining, well, it said right in the title that he's a Zeta. Well, the Zetas are the grays. Now, see, I kind of knew this anyway. He he tells people he's a hybrid. Uh, but somehow that brought it home. And there were several that he's done on the hybrid programs 
and so on. I, I can't tell you among all the hours that I listened to where I got the info, but I got enough information for myself to see through what, what, what's going on here with this hybrid program. I did one video where I talked about is there soul there or not, and, and I felt really good about that video coming through. I feel like it's, it's one of the special ones. Um, more time has gone by, more water's gone under the bridge, and I've been out there watching these other abduction things and listening to, oh dear, I'll have to get back with you. Okay. And that was some more difficulties, family difficulties. And so we all have our stuff. And it was like when my mom was older, she was like in her late seventies. And she used to worry about having every little thing done and staying on top of things. And it, it really hit her when I said, Mom, look, on the day that your body dies and you cross over, there's still going to be stuff that needs doing. It's just not that important. And so it's just a property of 3D life. A lot of this is just a part of being 3D. And it's not so much of a big deal as we make it out to be. Okay. Now, I was talking about the ETs. Um, I can sum up, I think, what I'm feeling and thinking is going on. A lot of the abductees are being shown all kinds of terrifying uh, visions, movies, whatever, of disasters and end-of-the-world scenarios and, and just awful things. And being told that uh, mankind is screwing up the planet and they're here to rescue or help us and uh, trying what I see going on is they're trying to inculcate fear. They want us to be in fear. They want this fear message passed on that terrible, terrible things are getting ready to happen and it's all our fault and we did it to ourselves and so on and so on. This is manipulation. This is control. This is milking as much negative energy from us as is doable. That's how I'm seeing it. I do not see that as in our future. And I think it's it's important for all of us as much as we can to look into where we have fears around these things and stay away from videos, movies, things that uh, reinforce the fear. You're not doing yourself any favors with that. Uh, it's not just entertainment. Remember, your subconscious mind takes everything it hears literally and it tries to deliver on it. There's no sentry station there to decide, do you really mean this? Or is this doable? Or is this good to do? There's no kind of deciding like that. It's just a literal deal. And so uh, if for some time you get into the movie while it's playing and it's showing some terrible disasters and you're fearful and so on, your subconscious is translating that as this is the reality that's upcoming. Okay, there's, there's a lot of beings and I guess people that do not have our best interests at heart. And so they want us in this lower frequency. Fear will interfere with your ascension. Do you know that? Fear will cut you off from your higher dimensional self. Fear will cut you off from being in your heart. Fear is not anything that we want to have and maintain. And so I know we can't just, you know, name our fears and gather them up and, and put them in the ash can and burn them. Wouldn't it be nice? But what we can do is let them come up, don't repress them, and then sit with them for a time. Do the worst case scenario thing. Realize you, we're eternal. Remember, your body mind here is your left pinky toe. It is in no way, shape, or form who and what you are. It's the merest tiny slice of it. 
You're not limited to this. You're not limited in any way. But as long as we choose to allow fear to abide in our garment, in our aura, in our energy force field, that's some of the stinkiest energy there is. It's deadly poison. It's not of light. And so, uh, I don't know. All I can do is call upon all of my brethren to process your fear. Sit with it. Journal it. Take the teeth out of it. Get into your heart, maybe, and remind yourself. Get, get into your higher consciousness and then look at the fear. I mean... We've, we've got to really do a better job at this, especially because of 2012. This is the big deal now. They're making the big push in order to get as many of us afraid as possible. When you get a massive number of people believing that a certain disaster is going to happen, they are creating that disaster. Fear is a magnet. What you fear, you will magnetize. Now, we haven't been educated that this is how things work. And so we're innocent and we're being used this way. My suspicion is that uh, the ones who are the vampires who have to live on our energy uh, and their favorite flavor is hatred and fear and all of the negative emotions. And so they try to keep us there. We, in mass, are getting ready with Gaia and with the solar system to ascend up and out of their reach because if they don't rise in consciousness, they're not going for this ride. And they're scared. They're the ones that are afraid, my friends. They're terrified of losing their meal ticket, and that's us. And so the push is to get as many of us as possible into fear, and to create as much disaster or negativity as possible just through the belief in it. And then that's the ideal time for them to show up in their ships if there is any kind of an earthquake or, or any kind of, of something terrible saying, hey, here, we're, we'll rescue you. Come on, come with us. We'll save you. And so they want to take their herd off planet to other places they have prepared for our continued slavery. That's what we are now. This is a prison planet. It has been. We're breaking out. We're shifting it. We have so many light beings in bodies here now. That's the ticket in. We, we can't interfere if we don't incarnate here. When we incarnate and when we walk many miles in these shoes, then we have the full right to interfere and it's not interference okay so we're making the shift and the bad guys are terrified they see their meal ticket going bye-bye and so this is what they're trying to do they're trying to get us terribly frightened to bring on the negativity and also to butter us up to soften us up so that uh, should that people be afraid for some reason as spaceships can appear and, and be the ticket out. I'm not leaving Gaia. I don't care if it's a tsunami staring me in the face. I'm not going off planet. Now we can shift, my friends. We're not 3D. We're not that. Each and every hour, you're less and less of a 3D being. We're being transformed. It's coming on incrementally. If you can't feel it, get out of your head and into your body where you can. We're being transformed and we will, I have no doubt, be able to make the shift into our higher dimensional being and ascend with the body, taking it with us. There's no need for it to age anymore. There's no need for it to die. These are things that have been set in, in process by the programming. And we're higher dimensional beings. And if we can step into heart and claim that and start living from there, 
there's no reason in the world that we can't have the higher dimensional rules applying right where we are. We're bringing 5D down into 3D or 3D up into 5D or I don't know, maybe they're meeting in the middle. Okay, I guess I've said my say and there's no need to go on and on. But do consider carefully what you take into your consciousness. The videos that you watch, they count. Uh, the video games that you're playing, they count. Have a care for what raises your vibration and for what doesn't. That's the thing to watch. Thank you so much for listening. Good day.